Fearless faith, how God makes everything possible, secret of karma. The nature of the light on the hill and top of the temple is the same, but the meaning is different. Are you all with me? The nature of the lamp in the bucket and on the top of the hill is the same. Both spread light. But the meaning is different. Even if you don't possess wisdom, you are the same God. But once you gain wisdom, you are lamp in the sanctuary and not the ordinary lamp in the hill with greater significance. Your strength is different. The first thing to understand is to know your own self. I don't even want to know about God, know your own self. There is Kuberan and Sukran. There is Mahalakshmi and Dhanalakshmi. There is a concept called Laksham. There is Lord Krishna as well, but there will be no money. I trust God. So I will go somewhere. He will save me. So I believe in him. It is better to have no belief at all instead of having such a belief. You embrace the presence of God. So he will heal you. He will solve all my problems if I tell him that I believe in him. Where is he? He is present wherever you go. You will go to a place to visit him once that building is built. Wherever you are, he is with you when you are with him. The moment of this realization is Guru Darshan. Ignorant of their strengths, many in their zeal have perished midway. First figure out your strengths. Valuvar is a very technical guy. That's why he says that many in their zeal have perished midway. You have to know both your strength and pain. That's why he says, without understanding their pain, either know your pain or your strength, or you will get trapped because of the interest midway. Many in their zeal have perished midway. You might have started something with genuine intentions. You might have taken genuine efforts, but you might have given up midway. That is worse than death. You think that a man dies only once. Not at all. His life is taken away from him only once. He is dying every day as he is not able to live the life that he wants. We are going to look at pleasure, peace, calmness, destiny and prosperity. You are seeking pleasure. Please do that. You deserve it. That's why you have brain. When you are happy, you are calm, you are comforted. But that won't guarantee peace. Many of you tell about your children, that you want them to become rich, that you want them to become doctors and engineers. Does any of you aspire to be a great Ottawala? I am not asking you to say it. You think that being a doctor or an engineer would help your children to settle in life. Don't mistake me. Say that you want your children to have a comfortable life. More importantly, they should have a peaceful life always. Let them be doctors, engineers, businessmen, etc. I am not denying that. Are you all able to understand? Is anybody able to connect with me? You are not making a mistake. So, before I start, I need to realize that I don't have a bigger enemy. Many people want to be with me and ask whether I can be with them. The fact that I will be with you if you are with me is a lie. You don't have to literally be with me. My teachings should be with you. There might be a moment when I am not with you. Even God can't stop himself from being with you because you are not only given the truth, but also wisdom. Wisdom is also truth. But not all truths lead to wisdom. You believe it or not. All your pain and punishment is over. There are two meanings for over in English. One is it is over. The other meaning is overdoing things. Sir, he is talking too much. You believe it or not, all your pain and punishment is over. If you walk away without understanding this, it's too much. Choosing the right over is up to you. Choosing the first over is easy. You can't do everything that you wanted, but you can live the life that you want. So, God has given you experience. Before you realize that experience has been given to you, we are the only species who can give pain and separation to our own kind. Is there birth in this world? What if there is no birth at all? You have the wisdom to think about all this. Two choices. I have said many times in our Atma Yogi sessions, we don't live together, we learn and grow together. The child who is born after you is teaching you something. You are not living together, you are learning together. Has any of you said, I am not going to say something big, which hasn't been said by Ramana, Agastyar, or Jesus. Once you know what you need to lead a good life, that is enough. That's it. Just listen to the words of this ordinary man and live an extraordinary life. Earlier, you knew how to lead a good life. Pleasure of the mind and body, pleasure for the brain. The world keeps giving you this. 
your children couldn't escape. After 40 years, you won't be able to tell what is right and what is wrong. Sex was a post-marriage activity before. Now the stigma would clear. School children are talking about sex as if they are talking about ice cream. College kids are talking about the number of times they had sex. It may be very vulgar to listen, but somewhere we are going wrong. I am not talking about religion. But culture does not exist without scientific reason. I am not saying that a man and a woman shouldn't touch while they are talking. This fundamental is not there. Once the body finds pleasure, then the mind will constantly seek that pleasure. Even if you don't teach the method to attain that pleasure. That pleasure? The pleasure is not destroying you. You won't be destroyed in the future. Not at all. Even elders like you won't be able to control. At the age of 60, after your grandkids are born, the old man maintains two mistresses without his wife knowing about it. There might have been someone here like that here and you might have changed now. How many of you understood? Your hands are still lowered, fearing that you might get caught. Raise it properly. A person came and cried that all his children are dead. Another person doesn't have a child despite spending lots of money. Another parent tells me that his daughter underwent an abortion in college and that he just found out about that. One mother isn't able to give birth to a child despite trying for 12 years. Here we have a college girl who underwent an abortion. Any of you able to understand? Some children are orphans and yearn for parents. Some couples have lots of money but they don't have children. You are running in something which is not even your track. That is what is paining to me. First, don't run in a track which is not yours. Listen to the wisdom that I am imparting very carefully. Dogs always play in one place. But it will eat wherever it wants. The wild animals in the forest feed meat to its offspring, though it spills on the way. The lion and the tiger will play everywhere. But after hunting, the lion lets out a roar. The cubs will come near the lion to eat. If it doesn't come, the male lion pats at the cub. It doesn't feed the cub. It hunts a bison or any of its prey. But the cub has to come near its food and eat on its own. So I am the lion now. I will let out a roar. You all should come and eat. Understand? There can be leftovers after eating. But I won't feed you all. How do I know that you all are lion cubs? If you all are here on your own, you all are lion cubs. That can't be changed. But that is not the message. That's how you get wisdom. Three things should happen fundamentally. If there is a problem, you all should get out of it and not get into the problem again. The people you know will resist your growth. You have been cheated only by your family and your friends. That's how it works. Think carefully. Uh, can any of you say that you have been cheated by a stranger? You can't say that. People will curse you if you do so. For getting cheated by a stranger. You can't say that you are an Indian so Pakistan is cheating you and that you would have been rich if you were in America. America is richer than India. I am talking about the foolishness of world standards. America is richer than India. I am an Indian. Isn't there a person poorer than me in America? Am I a poor Indian or am I richer than an American? Lots of information will be there in your head. To settle down in life, you want to become rich. And going to America is a very easy way to become rich. I am not asking you to not go to America, but don't go there to become rich. Do you understand the logic? If you like going there, it is colorful and is a very clean country. So there are no such problems there. Let your children get what you didn't. That is not wrong. Even if you spend money and send your children to America, they might spoil their health and ruin their lives. That is not in your control. The bull which embraces the calf also protects the cow. The calf always remains with the cow because no one nurtures a bull. The bull is often reared to reproduce with the cows, but when a person raises a bull as his own, then the calf is never with the cow. It is scared when the cow is in danger and tries to run. The cow indicates your future. The bull, which embraces the calf, also protects the cow. The son often stands up for the mother when she is scolded and vice versa for the daughter. We raise a dog to protect us, but little children often protect the puppies. The bull which embraces the calf also protects the cow. The bull plays with the calf using its horns. The bull embraces the calf. The man who lives with wisdom is a calf protected by the bull called God. He will protect your future. 
The position of the planets or the stars should not disturb you. You should live the good life that you want at all times, or else your life should be good beyond your expectations. There should not be a single moment where you feel that you are living the life that you don't want. End of all your pain and punishment.